What's up, my brother? What's going on, big nasty? Look, I got to say, I'm so proud of you. We met a few years back. I met you at the premiere of Creed 2. And two things besides your age that really stood out to me from that was that you talked about how much you love the business and how you wanted to get more diverse roles. And I thought that was a very mature statement to make because you didn't want to be typecasted. And we all know you had that physique to be a killer at any given time. But then you took this role, and I think it's absolutely a step forward in the direction of what you wanted to do. Would you agree? I definitely agree, 100%. I mean, you know, when, when Marvel knocks on your door, you, you can't really say no to that, no matter, what, <laughs> no matter what's the deal, you know? Yeah. And my long-term goal, and I have to underline long-term, was to get into the MCU anyway, but I thought... After Creed, I would need to add a couple more movies to make that step to, you know, create more attention around my persona. And then, bro, everything happened so quick again. So here we are. And I'm super oh, here. <laughs> that's so awesome, dude. Again, I'm so proud of you. And I Thanks. think that's it's really important because, yeah, somebody like you comes off really intimidating. You're a beast. You even build yourself as a killing machine. But there's one thing that I really appreciated your work in this and in Creed is that's being able to still have an emotional side to your craft. Was that also a really catalyst into you getting this role? 100%, 100%. I mean, I was very lucky to work with a director like Destin, you know, and Destin, the way he works as a director is very, um, you know, he tries to make, to make us actors very comfortable and tries to involve us in a creating process. So he was talking with me about, you know, the character and what I want to deliver with the character. Obviously, you know, my goals are always the highest and I want, I always want more and more and more. But, you know, like you said before, I feel like this is definitely the right step, which will lead me into the direction that we talked, you know, years prior to that. And I feel like there's still a lot more to tell when it comes oh, yeah. to the character of Razorfist, you know. Oh, yes. So you didn't hurt your shoulder this time in filming, right? I didn't hurt my shoulder, but I hurt my, I hurt my arm and my biceps and my knee. So it was all in there. That's <laughs> really bad. Dude, no one can argue that you're not committed to this now. <laughs> so that box is so tight. Uh, trust me. It was so hard for me to move in that thing. Phenomenal scene, too. Uh, last you. question here. One name, Brad Allen, rest in peace. Did you yeah. get an opportunity uh, or what were you able to learn from his time? No, 100%. I mean, the, the, the news obviously was shocking and, and hit mm -hmm. us, everyone. But uh, from what I can say, and, and I had uh, the chance and the opportunity to work with him as a second unit director, um, he had so much input from a fighting perspective. And this is so interesting for me because I have a fighting background. I come yeah. from that fighting world. And he, he taught me a lot of new stuff, new stuff from a martial arts point of view. You know, sometimes, you know, boxers or kickboxers who are only used to stand up are pretty, uh, you know, one dimensional. They don't want to learn anything new or add anything new that might still can help them. And I was very, you know, I was very eager to listen to him because he had so much experience with the stunt team of Jackie and everything that he created in his legacy. And he helped me. He definitely helped me, you know, become a better fighter. And he has a very, very huge impact on, you know, the fighting scenes become so good and so epic. So Damn. You know, all I can say is rest in power and, uh, we'll meet again at some point and he has a huge huge impact in this movie beautiful thank you so much florian i hope you have a good rest of your day my brother i hope to see you soon at some no doubt over, right? no doubt no doubt